You're pushing your luck there. Are you interested in the camera now, too? Quit biting his tail. You want to meet your big brother? Look, Tupac. What is this? What do you think about that? They're meeting for the first time here. I don't really know how to go about juggling them yet. Um, Tupac's obviously a lot more calm, but she's used to being around Tokos because she grew up with a bunch of them. But I'm not sure what Tupac's tolerance for that sort of thing is yet. Wanna come over here and see? Come on, buddy. What is that? Being mean at all, are you? I thought he was gonna freak out and start croaking himself. Wanna look closer? Are you scared? Look how much bigger it gets than her. <laughs> I think she's being honorary. <laughs> He's being gentle. Tupac. You're being a good boy. You want to look closer? Don't fight him. <laughs> little jerk. He's being nice. Or you're the one being mean. Oh. You're gonna try to play with him, don't you? Alright. Come around the front here. We'll have to... I don't know really what the logistics of everything are going to be. Obviously we're going to have two cages at least, but until she gets older and she gets about his size, um, they're probably not going to interact at all. Toucans do commingle with other species in the wild. Uh, toucans of the same, oh, same size. But it's not worth the risk right now because she can't really defend herself as well. You really want to go in there, don't you? Because her beak is small and still soft right now, it's not fully grown. But this was their first meeting. And we'll just have to go from here and they'll get used to kind of being in each other's presence. Through cage walls and stuff, of course, but... Come on, let me go. Alright, time to go. She really wants to get in there. Okay, let's go. Say bye-bye. Later. Okay, I should preface by saying this is actually a few days later, so it's not technically their first meeting now. Which is probably what I'll title the video. But they're both out together, and I've been slowly introducing them kind of together. I've had each one of them alternating in an enclosure out here, and I feel comfortable enough where... Tupac's body language says that he's not going to harm her or anything. Now, she is very energetic, as you all know, and Tupac is very calm and chill. So as long as she doesn't start messing with him, we should, oh God. Jeez. We should be fine. Um, it's raining very hard right now. now this is kind of Tupac's spot. He's always up here. And I think she knows just not to get too close to him. Stop jumping on the phone. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, careful. 
She's still not too quite sure about him. She's like, eh, I don't know about all that. But it's been about a... <laughs> it's been about a week now. And um, we'll start getting videos up more frequently now that everybody's kind of settled. What are you doing? You hungry or something? What are you doing? Why is the phone not focusing? There we go. You're already losing all your baby feathers on your head. Just about to start growing in adult feathers. All that white in her wings will grow out. She'll be straight black like Tupac, so... What? You hear the rain? Are you getting worried because you hear rain? Tupac's kind of like, eh, yeah, whatever. Oh, jeez. She keeps trying to jump on my head or on the phone or whatever. Energetic little thing. <sighs> You're being good. somewhere else. I'm trying to film you. I can't film you when you're on top of the phone. Yeah, I know. It's even worse with the big camera, which is why I'm using my phone. And I'm also gonna buy a oh, geez, full frame camera here pretty soon. Come on. Quit jumping up here. I should also mention that it's about their bedtime right now, so they're both a little bit more relaxed. Right as I say that, she's jumping at me. Come here. Go back. She took like three naps today, so... Stop jumping up here. See that little bald spot on her head where she's getting her adult feathers. She's losing a lot of her baby feathers already. What are you looking at? The lighting in here sucks right now. And there she goes. That's her area over there in the corner. Are you going to go back to your little space? See, she's still trying to sneak her way over. And get closer and closer. Ah, hey, careful. Uh-huh. She's not going to hurt you, buddy, don't worry. She's just a nuisance. Ah, uh, hey, guys. Tupac. Okay, he's not gonna bite. That wasn't a bite. We just want to be careful. We don't want him to accidentally hurt her because his beak is so much bigger than hers. She can't really keep a distance like she would be able to if she was an adult. She's really pushing her luck right now. Uh, okay, you're good. Okay. I see his body language is really relaxed right now. He's preening. He's not really worried about her. He's just like, you know, stay out of my personal space. We get a one personal space, two personal space, three stay out of my personal space, four. This is my area. This has been his area since I've gotten him, basically. He likes to sit up in this corner next to me. 
And he doesn't want anybody coming up into his personal space. That's understandable. He's just an old man that likes to sit in his recliner and watch TV. And he just wants her off of his lawn. <laughs> What do you see? You guys are being good right now. You're pushing your luck there. Are you interested in the camera now too? Quit biting his tail. wonder why he's like, leave me alone. Ah, hey. <clears throat> That's pretty normal behavior for a toucan. The only difference is, like, so, like, if a person, if a new person I'm introducing to Tupac, let, we'll just say Tupac, for instance, because he's a little more reserved and a little more cautious because of his um, health. So he can't move very quickly. He can't fly away if he's uncomfortable and things like that because, um, you know, his leg issues, his wing issues, everything. I mean, let's be honest, he's got a lot of issues. Excuse me. So, hey, quit, quit playing with that. It's dirty. Flip around here. Come here. There you go. So, anyways, as I was saying, if it's a new person he's being introduced to, I can just be like, well, hey, you know, move carefully, slowly, give him the blueberry, things like that, be his friend, do things that he would find uh, friendly. But with her, she just wants to come mess with him and take his food and move very quickly all the time. So, and it's a, like, normally a toucan would just fly off if they don't want to be with one of the younger members of their flock or whoever who's not in the pecking order quite yet, <clears throat> but he can't do that. So when she comes around, she's up there starting trouble now, but when she comes around, I just try to be a mediator between them like that and watch them, and Tupac's body language isn't ever violent. Like earlier when he was like kind of, it looked like he was biting at her, but he's not biting at her. He's just trying to get her to go away. So she went away, and that's good. So they they have to... I don't want to interfere too much with their interactions because I want them to be able to understand each other's body language and what one means. And she's starting to kind of understand that already. She'll come up close to him, and if he's kind of acting like that, like, hey, get away, don't mess with me, um, she'll fly away, or she'll back off. But every now and then, like, she just saw she was pushing her luck and biting at him, biting at his tail and pl trying to play with him and stuff. Uh, I say bite. He's, she's not biting. She's trying to play. But he doesn't want to be played with like that. He doesn't want to be irritated. So, and she can be irritating, trust me. She's very energetic. And Tupac's not about that life. So... But over time, especially once Tupac gets a little healthier, they'll be able to interact a little bit easier once they get to know each other and they're used to being around each other. And I never leave them alone. Um, we just want to keep some moderation between them, but allow them to interact enough to where they get to understand and be familiar with each other and know that neither one is a threat, really. She's just more of a nuisance than a threat. So, And we're starting to get there, so that's good. We got a nice little community feeding situation going on here now. <clears throat> but they're not careful. Yeah, she's still not too quite sure about him. But uh anyways guys. Hold on. That's how they're interacting so far. Um, it'll be a slow process of course and she'll have to get a little braver and bigger. She's still much smaller than he is, as you can see. So, 
What you got there? You got blueberries? You wanna go get some? Here. I'll make sure he doesn't go after you, don't worry. Anyways, um, throw some uh, suggestions down in the con- hey. Okay, he's fine. <laughs> You're getting fruit all over everywhere. Anyways, as I was saying, throw some suggestions down in the comments about maybe what you might like to see her react to. Um, we'll have the name reveal here very, very shortly. Go back down there. Quit jumping on me while I'm trying to film. Go eat. Um, maybe we like to see how she reacts to sparkling water or I don't know, just anything. It doesn't have to be necessarily something new. It could be something that Ripley has done or Tupac has done that you might like to see her react to. And make sure to check out Patreon and all that good stuff. And Instagram. And the merch, of course. Link in the description for everything. And we'll be back in a few days. Sorry for the slow videos, guys. I know. It's, I'm just trying to get everybody set up. And then once we kind of got into the swing of things, we'll uh, just proceed as normal. So, really excited to welcome her to the family and she will be getting a name very soon trust me being good Tupac all right guys have a great night say bye bye you got fruit all over the wall <laughs> yummy <laughs> all right maybe we'll sit here and watch them eat for a second they're being kind of cute. Oh, there she goes on my head. Alright, that's it. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>